Wednesday was the big day House Republicans have long been calling for for months and months where Hunter Biden finally testified and would be questioned behind closed doors by the Oversight Committee, this in hopes to reignite their dying impeachment into Biden, where as we've covered in separate videos, their main witness has already been indicted for lying in the claims that he made about Biden and shown to have been fed most of his information from... Russian operatives. And Republicans ran with it despite it not being corroborated in any way and knowing it was likely untrue. Well, following that bombshell and this Hunter Biden appearance, James Comer was questioned by a reporter where he crumbled under the smallest bit of scrutiny. Take a look. He got $200,000 from what did he and do the a evidence that, that, Joe Biden, that Jim did Biden said Joe Biden no, said. He wasn't vice president at the look, time. Those you, can, you can defend Joe Biden I'm not all day long. Him, you can defend you Joe Biden. You, can, back up your you can be on his legal defense team. Kevin Morris will probably pay your legal bills if you want. <laughs> You're not but answering the, my question. No, I am answering your question. You don't, you, you don't understand what we've said over and over and over. Joe Biden took two hundred thousand dollars directly from a private court. Was he vice president at the time that two hundred thousand check was was put through? The what? He was a private citizen at the time that two hundred thousand dollar check went through. Was he not? The the four hundred the forty thousand dollars the two hundred thousand dollar check which you've cited twice. So now, it's okay. Was he a public official? So, so, at the time? so do you have a problem that Joe Biden's lied about this? Do you have a problem that that America? I don't have any evidence that he's lied about it. Best? It's just absolutely embarrassing. He brings up the $200,000 check, which has been debunked as a simple repayment, might I add. And then when he gets cornered on Joe Biden, not even being in office at that time anyway, he tries to change the subject to another fake number and gets directly called out. And instead of then just addressing what was said, he goes on to gish galloping. And I mean, the words that he's saying means nothing when you can't substantiate them. So putting them in place of an explanation is just obfuscation and a low level, a low IQ level job at that. But let's jump over to Matt Gates then, admitting that Hunter Biden did not invoke the Fifth Amendment a single time in this hearing. So, Is he taking the fifth at all? No. He's, has, he's, he's, he's been responsive to questions. Has, yeah. Now, just some numbers to throw out there for you. Eric Trump invoked the Fifth Amendment 500 times. Donald Trump invoked the Fifth Amendment 440 times when they were questioned in their hearings. Comparatively to Hunter Zero, you tell me who you think seems like they have more to hide and we can just leave it there. Because I want to jump over to AOC just absolutely laying into Republicans for wasting not only all of our time, but all of our taxpayer dollars. What we just witnessed over the last hour was I think a deep sea fishing expedition because the Republican case has completely fallen apart over the last several weeks. Um, after it's been exposed that, that the critical, you know, one of the, their most uh, key pieces of information was based on a source that was in communication with Russian intelligence, they are now trying to scramble to find anything. Um, to substantiate their fairy tale is what we should call this. Um, but I think more disturbingly, what we are seeing is is just a complete uh, and, and inappropriate expedition into uh, the president's son. She is absolutely spot on. And with this many facts being brought forth, you can cue the Republican finger pointing, oh, what about Democrats? And Democrats tried to impeach Trump and did the same thing, which makes it an important time to remind you that the Trump impeachment inquiries, they led to multiple arrests. Trump's campaign manager, Paul Manafort, was convicted and sentenced to four years, and it was shown that Russia did in fact interfere with the elections. While Dems did get some things wrong, an inquiry with multiple arrests and crucial information being brought to light is hardly comparable to this waste of taxpayer dollars that never led to any arrests, never led to any formal charges even being brought forward, and no evidence was brought to light either. Most of it was them unironically debunking their own earlier claims. If you enjoyed this video, we're Social Society. We're a commentary channel influenced by politics, society, and the economy. We are pretty left-leaning on this channel, but we're open to our right-wingers as well. The biggest thing here is having conversations that get everyone to the bottom of the truth. If that sounds like something that could interest you, consider smashing that subscribe button, or leaving us a like, or even commenting on this video. We even have memberships available for as low as $3 if you'd like to support, because the only way we become a society is together.